YouTube. It's Matt from the Glove Bros. Come to you guys in another video. I am so sorry we haven't been coming out with videos lately, but I have just been really busy, and so was Marco with school and work and everything. It's just become a little bit too much. So we do apologize, but like we said in the past, um, we might have to take a couple of days off, but once we have some time, we'll be making videos. Today I was off of work, so um, that's obviously why I'm making a video. First off, um, just want to say that this is still for sale um, or trade. We'll trade it for a glove. Um, doesn't have to be in great shape. Um, like 82,000 hard to hide, something like that. Um, it's a um, 32.29 Mizuno Max Core. Retail on this is uh, $400. Um, it's used one time for BP. Um, it's in amazing shape. Um, I just don't play BP Core, and um, Marco has his voodoo already. And he barely hits as it is, so there's no point of having him um, having him have two bats. So yeah, um, for sale or trade, really just looking to move it. Um, guaranteed uh, be there by Christmas if you buy it soon. Uh, I ship priority, so um, it will definitely be there. Um, letting it go cheap. If and if you buy it uh, or trade for it, uh, you get a shout out on our Instagram and on our YouTube. So just a little incentive for you guys. Uh, sorry. Um, so. Um, I've been getting asked a lot lately, um, what should I order for Christmas? Um, so we don't get gloves for Christmas. Um, believe it or not, we yes. Last year. Who got a quick glove for Christmas? I got the 1788A. Oh, yeah, you did. I forgot about that. We bought that from Baseball Pro. Um, uh, well, well, we usually don't get gloves for Christmas, but I guess Marco did. Um, so we bought every glove, every glove that we have right now, we bought. Um, so a lot of things we ask for Christmas are small things, and uh, people have been asking me lately what batting gloves I use, what pine tar I use, uh, what sleeves I use, stuff like that. So I just wanted to come at you guys with something like that today. Um, so yeah, I'll start with the batting gloves first. Um, these are my game batting gloves. I believe these are Under Armour, the yards. I don't. I'm not sure. I got these. Um, I bought them on Softball. No, not on Softball fans. On um, Glove Works forum for like ten dollars. They're brand new. Um, I love them. They're so um, grippy, uh, tacky um, is the correct word for it, but a lot of people don't know what that means. Um, so they have a lot of grip to them, like football gloves, and I love that. Um, they're not the thickest pair, but that doesn't bother me because they're just my game batting gloves. So the sting, you know, I could deal with it. It's just if I get jammed or something like that. So um, these are amazing. I'm probably going to be picking up another pair of these before next season. I'm thinking about getting yellow. Uh, because I'm playing on a maroon and yellow slash gold team. Um, I don't want to buy anything yet because we haven't gotten our jerseys. So I want to see if it's going to be like a yellowish gold or like a like a goldish gold. So I'm kind of just waiting it out on that. So I'm just using these um, for now. Um, my BP batting gloves, one of the pairs. Uh, ones I use most are these um, uh, ooh, excuse me, Franklin CFX Pro, uh, the big poppies. Um, these are... Um, Pretty good. Um, I got these as a throw-in on a trade from somebody. Um, they're just too flashy for my taste to use in games. Um, I'm just not that type of guy that would use these in a game. Um, so I just use them for BP. They're pretty good. Um, a lot more durable than some of the other Franklins I had. But like I said, they're just BP batting gloves. So I really don't care. I rotate uh, BP batting gloves all the time. I never really use my game ones. Except for like pre-game BP when I'm taking like 20 or 30 swings before a game max. Um, so I'm not really pouring hits into them. But these, I don't care. I'll take 200 swings a day with these on. I don't really care if they rip. I have like six other pairs for BP. So uh, yeah, um, my pro orthopedic sleeve, just the first one I grabbed. We have like four or five. This one's starting to rip. Uh, a couple of them are. So um, definitely going to be um, ordering a couple new ones before the season. Um, I'll wear these like during practice and stuff, but um, I think we're just going to go low on toss. But right before the season, I'll probably order four or five uh, new ones, and I'll just use those just for games. Um, I always like to have a fresh, clean white one before a game, uh, especially um, I just think it looks better. Uh, if it gets like, a little dirty like this, I don't mind, but I have ones that are like completely brown. And I mean, it still performs great. I just It's just a looks thing for me. Um, I'm one of those people that believes you should, like, look good for a game. You know, I'm not saying it's the most important thing, but I like to look good when I'm playing. You never know who's watching and or taking pictures. So, yeah. Um, my pine tar. This is, like, my little pine tar bag. Uh, this is, like, my accessories bag. It's just a little plastic bag. 
um, got my eye black. Um, I wear my eye black like Bryce Harper does. Um, unless I know I'm going to pitch that day, then I don't. Um, uh, but, yeah. If I don't know I'm going to pitch and I already have it on, I just wear it. But if I'm going to start, I won't wear it. Um, so yeah. Uh, Marco laughed because I, like, never start, ever. So, I'm, I'm mostly a reliever, but, um, uh, my tiger stick, pine tar. Um, this is probably going to be done before the season. Um, so I'm, I am actually going to be switching brands. Um, I don't know to what yet. Um, I'm thinking either Pelican Bat Wax or um, I think it's uh, Two Bat Wax, I believe it, if the company's called. They make like all the different color ones. Um, I don't really know too much about either of them. Uh, so if you have either one, please drop some comments. I got it recently. Um, so, yeah. So um, I melt my pine tar. I just think it's the smartest thing. So I always have a lighter in here. Um, yeah, and I have some uh, matches just in case the lighter runs out of fluid or something like that. This one has a little bit of fluid in it still. Um, I put everything in a bag just because, as you could tell, this is covered in pine tar. This is covered in it. Um, the matches are as well. So I don't want it floating around in my accessories pouch in my bag. So that's why I put it inside of a plastic bag. Um, the tiger stick has held up well. Actually, like you could see, it has like molded grooves in it for where I always grip it when I'm rubbing it on. Um, so, yeah, um, it's it's been good. I just want to try something different. Um, so, yeah, that's really all I got to say about the pine tar. Uh, so, if you've had one of those two companies, please let me know. I want to try something new. Uh, I know like the Pelican has like that that clubhouse kit, and it's like a bunch of stuff. I think that's really cool. Um, so onto my glove repair box. This is like a ripped up t-shirt that was like given to me. Like, cause like we do, we do construction in the summer, like with our dad. And like, so somebody with like a crane company gave me like one of their t-shirts and I just never wore it. So what I did is I cut it up. And this is like when I, um, condition gloves, how I take the conditioner off, I wipe it off. So that's how I take it off. I just cut up an old t-shirt, um, lace needle that sucks balls. Um, it's like the lace needle that you're going to get when you're like traditionally like going to like a store and get it. Um, this is the best lace needle ever. Uh, we did our first relace on a glove. Um, didn't come out amazing. That's why we didn't show you guys. Uh, we just did it for a buddy. It was just like a joke around glove that he had. We used the paracord for it and he just wanted to keep the glove alive. He's had it for a couple of years. So we released in paracord for him. Uh, this is the twist needle. Like you could twist the lace in the bottom. Uh, this is Tanner's lace. Um, it, it came with a little package of it, so, uh, yeah, so, we did the web in Tanner's for him, so, um, it wouldn't, um, move as easily, obviously Tanner's is a lot better than Paracord, um, toothbrush, toothbrushes, um, because how we apply, um, conditioner instead of getting our hands on it, um, we use a toothbrush, we take some of it, and then we really rub it in, uh, we feel like it's the best way to get the dirt out of it is to really dig it in there and the dirt moves up or it loosens up so you, when you wipe it away uh comes up i have two things in a kona this one's like basically empty and this one is full so we be switching that soon um glove glaze the best conditioner love it probably gonna get some more of this for christmas i'm gonna ask for it um wilson mink oil for those really um heavy duty ones really um you're really trying to get something out, I'd uh, use this. Um, we have padding in here. Um, I had a Rawlings like player preferred, and we like basically dissected it, and we just like ripped all this padding out. Um, so sometimes if I'm catching like a really hard pitcher, um, or for when my CM 2000s get older, um, I cut this to the exact size, and I put it underneath the finger hood because I put my finger on the finger hood anyway. So it's like an extra little gel pad. Um, so yeah, it feels really nice, or if like I wanted to make a gel pad or something, I would just use this, but it's just in here. Um, this is something else I use. It's from a, um, like one of those catcher's under gloves, and it's like supposed to be a sting guard, but I don't like to wear an under glove, so I cut this out and I put it under the finger pad as well. Um, my CM3000 right now has more than enough padding, so I don't need that. Uh, more padding, um, a wristband that none of us have like ever worn. I think DC Gloves gave this to us. Right, Marco? Don't know. 
I think he gave it to us when he did a relay, so he just threw it in. Um, maybe I'll just give it away. Um, I'll probably just give it away. We'll, we'll do something like this. That's like randomly like a pitcher or something. Um, Sharpies. I don't know why there's two Sharpies in here. Um, so, uh, yeah, a little bit of black lace. Um, needle nose pliers. Uh, for like when you really want to tighten a glove, it's nice to, to pull it with these. You can pull it really easily. And a bunch of rolls of black tape and one more piece of foam. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is like like our little like um, accessories tour. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna name this video yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found this informative. Uh, really, we want to keep the content up. Um, so yeah, we want to keep the content up. So we're constantly uh, teaching you guys stuff. But that's really the point of this channel, isn't it? It's just to show off what we have. Um, it's to help other people learn stuff like that. So. I hope you could bear with me through these 11 minutes of talking about absolute nonsense. But deadass, somebody buy this bat, please. It's just sitting yes. here. Like, I'll trade it for, like, used gloves. I don't care. Um, or I also, um, nah. I could add I could add cash for the red glove. Um, not a lot. But if, if it was something like that, I could definitely add for it. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Somebody buy this bat. And until um, next time, have a good day.